Ever felt like you're sinking in an ocean of debt with no lifeboat in sight? Picture this, you're a tadpole in a pond, but the pond is your debt, and you're a really bad swimmer. Or, imagine being invited to a party, but the party is an avalanche of bills, and you're wearing your most expensive shoes, not the best scenarios, right? But don't start fashioning that bankruptcy sign just yet. Well, fear not, I'm your financial lifeguard, here to throw you a life hack buoy. Once upon a time, there was a prince, not your typical royal blood, but a prince in the realm of overspending. Ah, uh, let me introduce you to Prince Spendalot, the monarch of money mismanagement. This prince had a knack for squandering his gold faster than a cheetah on a caffeine rush. Every shiny trinket, every fancy carriage, every designer doublet, he just had to have them all. His kingdom, a mountain of debt and his crown, a shiny golden credit card. But one day, a wise old sage visited the prince. With a knowing twinkle in his eye, the sage shared a secret so powerful it could turn even the most penniless prince into a wealthy king. He called it the pay yourself first principle. The idea was simple. Every time the prince received any income, he was to put aside a portion of it for his future self before spending a single gold coin. It was like sending a gift to his future self a gift of financial security and prosperity. Prince Spendalot was intrigued. He decided to give it a shot. And so, every time he received his gold coins, he would immediately stash a chunk of it away. He started small, but gradually increased his savings. And then a remarkable transformation took place. Our prince, once a reckless spender, turned into a wise and prudent saver. He was finally in control of his finances, and not the other way around. And lo and behold, our penniless prince transformed into a financially savvy king. So, what's this magic trick that turned our penniless prince into a money-wise monarch? Well, it's nothing short of alchemy, really. It's called the pay yourself first hack. Now imagine every time you get your paycheck, you're at a party. You've got your bills, your rent, your groceries all lined up for a dance. But before you let them take a spin on the dance floor, you sneak away to the savings bank and slip a few notes there. That's it. That's the pay yourself first hack. It's like giving yourself a high five every payday. It's like saying, hey, I worked hard for this. I deserve to keep a chunk of it for myself. And the best part, this little dance move reduces the stress of living paycheck to paycheck. It's the first step towards financial freedom, a safety net for rainy days. So next time when your paycheck lands, remember to treat yourself first, not with a shopping spree or a fancy dinner, but with a deposit into your savings account. Because the biggest expense you have, my friends, is neglecting your own wealth.